illegal immigration is a huge challenge and I've really been waiting for this meeting with the minister for a long, long time. Right now I've got 10 cases uh, where uh, we have uh, discovered uh, the people working for the city with uh, faked uh, identity documentation. We're just obviously waiting now, it's all going almost two weeks for them to actually verify whether this, uh, the documents are fraudulent or not. These are issues actually affecting our residents, particularly in the poor communities, uh, because if you look at the, uh, the, uh, most of, if not all the, the undocumented uh, people actually live amongst our poor communities where housing is a huge challenge. You know, we're sitting with uh, uh, almost over 200 informal settlements. Our inner city is hij with hijacked buildings. So the biggest casualties of this are our old, own uh, poor communities. But at the same time also, human trafficking is a, is a huge challenge. Just about a month ago, in December sometime, uh, we in one building discovered and confiscated uh, over 80 million rents of counterfeit goods in one building. And we find uh, some of foreign nationals being brought into this country legally with no documentation, not allowed to leave uh, uh, these buildings. It's, it's dangerous when we have got people who come in the country illegally. It causes a lot of tensions. It also causes some of the security problems as a country. Then we have agreed that we will work with other law enforcement agencies to deal with this matter. As a home affairs, we've got an inspectorate division, uh, which is not very big but they work very close with the police, they work very close with the municipal officials to conduct uh, these check, spot check-ins about those who are in our country illegally. The, the major concern which we are facing is that uh, the IDs are sitting in our offices. We produce quite a number of smart cards and they are sitting in our offices. We are appealing to the citizens of Johannesburg and Gauteng and other provinces, of course to please come and collect your IDs. We send these SMSs, we are not even sure whether they are reaching you. But if you have applied and it's more than three weeks, come and get your ID. They are in our offices. The second challenge which we face is these things which uh, sort of irritate our citizens. Uh, the long queues, we are trying to deal with that. And uh, the systems, sometimes which embarrass us and don't work like here, where the system has not been functioning. But most of our officials, they are working very well. They, we are a little bit understaffed, and uh, we are trying to resolve that at a national level, because it is important that we have got sufficient staff at the frontline offices. It's okay if we are understaffed at the backline offices, but front lines where we interact with our citizens we are really need to improve there. That's why in most of our offices now, we've taken staff from headquarters to come and work in some offices here in Jobek and assist them so that if they go on lunch, the services is not broken, they continue to give the services. I'm John Tarode and you're watching Joburg Today.